show. It's day one of Craft Your Stash, and I almost didn't make it because it's 9.20. I didn't promise I was going to go live every day. I just said I could go live every day, plus 800 million times. So welcome to the replay because there's nobody here right now. Um, so I'll just talk to the people from the replay, and then when everyone's here, I will hang out with them. Are we live? Why is there no one here? Hello, where are you guys at? Notifications, anyone? Let me go grab my laptop, make sure people are, oh wait, I see. <gasps> There's people here. Hi Karen, hi Didla, Didya, hi Tiffany, hi Lourdes. Okay, notifications went out. Hey guys, okay, so it's Craft Your Stash Day One. If you guys don't know what that means, I have a free printable on my website, antitay.com, and I don't even have it in here. Um, but you're supposed to make a list of all the crafts that you have lying around or stuff that you have that you want to make a present for somebody and um, all that good stuff. So print that out and do this with us. I don't know how long it's going to go, but it should go until I'm done with my Christmas presents. Um, so I'm making this this angel. Actually, I'm making a bunch of angels. So I made, I got I to gotta get crafting though while I talk with you guys and hang out. Um, I know it is late and it's it's 9.20 and we had a crazy long day today because um, we were shipping prizes all day. Hunter, can you not please be squeaky this whole time? Hunter never sleeps. He does actually. He just loves to be awake when I'm live. It's midnight? Holy moly, it's only 9.30 here, so expect some lives at this time for you night owls out there, because today is, this is the only time I found a craft, so I, um, yeah, but I just realized, so we had a super long day today, uh, we were shipping all the prizes, and then we were, um, uh, we have a high school, like, get-together party thing, that we needed to make cookies for today. So I was helping someone do set those up, which you can see that box right there is all cookie stuff for a social distance cookie decorating party. Um, so there's that. I had that and then um, my regular Monday work stuff. So getting all the stuff together for the members and things like that. And we do our staff meeting on Monday mornings. So it was like back to the grinding stone. And then the day had gone by, and before I knew it, we were having to take kids to softball practice. That's way too much. I'm not going to waste that much fabric. Um, and then I was like, holy moly, it is the 10th, and the angels are supposed to come tomorrow. <laughs> so I uh, luckily had my niece and my girls prep a lot of this for me, so we have them already, but their bodies needed to be assembled. They pretty much just need to be assembled. So it will take a big chunk out of my craft supplies because I'm making 10 of them this year for um, some of the little kids in my life. And we're gonna go deliver them tomorrow. Oh, and I just realized the ones we're mailing aren't gonna be there in time, so that's fun. But we're mailing a couple off and then we are delivering all of the other ones tomorrow with a book. So I wrote this book for my girls. It actually started out as this book. Um, this is the picture of the angel that I made. Basically, I went and I got the elf on the shelf because I really wanted to be like all those cool moms and do the elf on the shelf. And then I bought it and discovered what it was and I just didn't like it. I didn't like the idea of it. I didn't like the um, idea of like making sure that you're being good because an elf is watching you and stuff and just there's just a lot of reasons I didn't really like the elf on the shelf idea. And so I decided to put together the advent story and um, I'll read you page one. Um, so by next year, hopefully we have it narrated by my kids and into a video so that when you guys make your angels, you can do advent with your littles. But now that my kids are bigger, we aren't doing it anymore. We do like our angel comes and you know, moves around the home, but we don't do it as much as we used to because she's just, you know, not as magical, but at the same time, like 
we've gone through the book every single year for years and I added in a bunch of like things to read in the Bible to walk you through the Advent season and stuff like that. So all that. How are you this evening? I am great. How are you? I know it's late for some people, so we're probably not going to have very many viewers, but hey, reaching a different crowd tonight, maybe? We'll see. Okay, so I'm making, I think, nine, and I have five bodies done. So I'm almost done with all the bodies. Um, this is what their heads look like before they have hair, and my girls made all their little wigs. So you put the wigs on them and then style their hair. They already did some. They got a little... They had a little fun making different hairstyles for the angels and all the stuff. My niece, who is lost her job again because COVID shut her salon down, um, came and helped me for a day and she's a hairstylist. So I was like, hey, how about you make wigs for the dolls? And so that was pretty cool that we had her to help with that. Um... So what are you guys crafting? And if you're new to craft your stash, um, welcome. We're gonna be just, I'm just gonna be randomly live whenever I'm crafting. And really I wanted to spend this time just kind of crafting, like not really teaching how to do crafts, but really just crafting. Hey Kim, um, and working on presents for people. So these are for all the little kids and um, Basically, we're going to deliver them. So I really want to get this book published. It is technically published, but I do want this on the market only because every year when I bring it out, I'm like, this is actually really cool. And um, I was really creative back then <laughs> when I wrote this. I was like 22, 23, and I wrote this. And so... Um, Anyway, so the first page, which is what you would read tomorrow, is it's time for the angels all around the world to appear to bring all children a story of cheer. This very tiny angel has chosen you to visit to be sure through the season you would not miss it. What am I talking about, you say? Well, let's tell you a story and follow her way. She'll take you on a journey for just 10 days to teach you the reason of this season's craze. She has come with her friends from heaven above to sprinkle Christmas spirit to the people you love. Every day you will find her in a new place. Some of them are sneaky, so check every space. She and her friends are flying around, but don't look too hard. Some don't like to be found. She's a silly one, this angel you'll see, as you can as you catch her in all the spots she will be. So kiss your angel goodnight till tomorrow await. Where will she be when it's time to await? And every day has like a reflection and a area that you can go deep. And, um, so I, I added this part when the girls started getting older, just because like, I wanted them to know more about the actual Christmas story. Um, yay, finish your ornaments for your tree. So what are you crafting on tonight? What are you pulling out to make? What is the name of the book? Please tell. So I do have it through MagCloud and um you can buy the digital download i'm wondering if i can hold on i'm wondering if i can embed it on the website i didn't even think of that it's just it always sneaks up on me and i'm always like oh you have to do it on the 15th like if you don't do it from the 15th through the 25th you're behind or whatever i guess you could go in a few days later but um do i even have my mad cloud account anymore so um Let's see. Let's see. Mm, I don't even know. But it's through MagCloud. Can I just search MagCloud? Do, 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 MagCloud. I'll look and I'll embed it on the website if I can. Otherwise, I can do the digital download for like a dollar or something. And then you could do that and make an angel. Um, I'm making a gamer girl t-shirt for my niece, table runner, and a wine bottle light tonight. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, so I started making my list and I have a bunch of koozies. I have some more of the home signs. So I had to um, host an event for our church where we did the home sign, but not with the chalkboard. We just did the um, 
we did just chalk paints and I prepped like two just for that event and then I was like, oh, I know a couple people who would like these for Christmas, so I have to finish those. And then I have koozies for some of my nieces and cups. And then I have, I don't know, I, I need to look through my stash and figure out if there's any cute stuff I can make for my nephews. I just um, got another nephew about six, seven days ago now. He's only a week old. So I have three little guys now. I have a three-year-old nephew. Well, no, he's four. He's four and a half. And then I have um, a one-year-old nephew and then a one-week-old nephew. Thank you. And so everybody always asks me to do the boy crafts. And actually, Mason is on my homepage right now, and he was only one in that picture. He's four and a half now. So um, I used to craft for him a lot when he was little, but now he's still little. But now I have three little guys to craft for. So you can bet your bottom dollar there's going to be some boy SVGs coming because I need to make them all matching t-shirts and all the cute things. Hello. So I sent the kids and Dustin out to the spa because they were trying to help with this and I was like, I just want to get it done. They all were like, what do I do? How do I do it? And I'm like, I just want to, I just want to make them. I just want to be done with this craft. So I just sent them out. I was like, go spend some time together in the spa. I've been using bling on everything from cards to ornaments to shirts. Woo! That's so exciting. I need SVG for boys to make cute cake toppers. Awesome sauce. Yeah, I'm all about that. I'm like, okay, we got to do some party stuff. Baby blankets from Dollar Tree. Oh, I missed it. Hey, Teresa. All right. One, two, three, six bodies done. Three more to go. Oh, I should probably make sure. These are all going to families that have boys and girls. They, they have both. So I'm gonna try to make some more like neutral colors, but they're angels. They can be as pretty as they want. I know I did some fun facts on all the characters for the nativity. And I realized I didn't have an angel in the nativity, which the angels are like one of the most important parts of the nativity because like the angels there was more angels in the story of jesus than there were anybody else pretty much and so um yeah but what i was gonna say is how i said the shepherds could have been females or women um the angels most angels in the Bible, and we only have two in the Bible that are actually ever named, which is Gabriel and Michael, and they are boys. And so often we depict angels as girls, but most likely, if there was an angel in the Bible, it is a boy. And fun fact, if you didn't know, since I love doing these Bible fun facts, um, if you see the words in the Bible, an angel of the Lord, that's just a regular angel. But if you see the angel of the Lord, that's Jesus. So um, the angel of the Lord is actually like the presence of the Lord in angel format, which in like Old Testament means Jesus. So lots of angels in the Bible. I'm so happy to see Aunt Tay and Mr. Crafty Pants working together, both my faves. Whoop! Yeah, he came he came in like a lion man into this world. He is roaring in the craft industry. We need more guys up in here. I'm from Indiana and something. Sorry. I love the sharing of the Bible stories. It makes me so happy to hear. Thanks. I like it too, but it's, I gotta have something to spark it. Valerie, you go to bed. It's only 9.20 here. And this is my first time I've gotten to craft all week and, or all week. <laughs> Okay, all day. And tomorrow's the tent, and you know what that means. Oh, hi, Jason. I'm making angels for all the other little kids in my life. Your kiddos already got an angel, but they might be getting another one, so shush. Um, oh, you guys already have an angel too, but you're one of the ones I need to ship out to. So your extra angel is coming just a little late. Sweet. I was just explaining what the angels are, why they exist, 
well, why these angels exist. Why are you up? It is 11.30 there. Cray cray, you go to bed. All right. See, I thought we'd attract a different crowd this late. Where do you live? I live in California. I'm writing 24 page paper. That sounds disgusting. Jesus is cool. Doing two days. Why are you sitting here watching my YouTube channel then? Go do your homework. There's an Archangel angel Raphael too. Uh, the Arch Archangel is Michael. So maybe, uh, there's not an Archangel Raphael, is there? And Donatello and Leonardo. I see you, no I'm kidding. Is there? I don't, I don't think so. Where's my Bible scholars at? Is there an Archangel, Arch, is, do you say Arch or Ark? I always get confused on that word. There's so many words I get confused on and I end up saying it both ways because I'm like, I'm either bound to get it right or wrong and people will be like, oh, she corrected herself. Ark, Ark, yes, like the Ark equals Ark, Ark, but spelled Arch. In India, 1103 in India, like in the afternoon, Michael and Gabriel, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, there's only Michael and Gabriel in, named in the Bible. Someone's saying there's a Raphael. I've never heard that one. Yeah, I know there's Gabriel and Michael, and Michael is an archangel. Gabriel is just a messenger. I don't think he's an archangel. But, hey, you guys teach me. I don't know everything. I know what I know but I don't know what I don't know. Maybe Saint Raphael, maybe. I believe Catholics name more, not sure. Oh, maybe. I'll find out where he comes from and let you know. Please do, that would be awesome, yeah. Um, yeah, I know that there's a lot of names, naming of things in the Catholic religion. Maybe in other translation of the Bible, that's what I was thinking, like maybe it's another name, like, for example, Joseph and um, Jesus, they have the same name. Joseph in, and I don't want to say the, I don't want to say the direct translation because I don't remember what Joseph is translated from. Um, Yesu, so Ye Yesu in Hebrew actually translates to Joseph. I believe. As I said, I wasn't going to do that. But they're both the same. So anytime you see a Joseph, they have the same name. Dustin, you're supposed to be hanging out with your daughters in the spa. Maybe in the message translation. <laughs> yes, Yeshua. Yeshua is Joshua. Joshua, not Joseph. What am I even thinking? It's late. I should not be teaching. I'm going to be judged even harsher because teachers get judged harsher. And I'm not a teacher. Ugh. Um... I'm not going to bed. I'm finally getting to work. Send prayer my way fighting Rona. We will be doing that D's creation. We've got lots of people getting the Rona around us these days. It's not fun. Um, there you go. That's biblical now. I do. So Dustin's making fun of me because I've been reading the message version because um, I've read through, you know, the books of the Bible a lot. Not, not obviously not too much because you can't ever read it too much, but I've read through them a lot and I get to the point sometimes where I'm like, I've heard this, heard it. So um, I started reading it or listening to it in the message version so that it's completely different. It is a little bizarre in moments. It's really, it's really good, especially if you've read the Bible a lot or you like to study it, but it is, it's interesting. We just ask saints to pray for us. We don't pray. Oh, Enoch is not a book of the Bible. What is this? Did we just turn into like biblical? We've got my cousin here who wants to go into ministry and my husband here who is in ministry and me sitting here trying to make sure that I get all my facts straight and they're fact checking me and us and not you guys. So welcome to Crafting in Jesus Late Night whatever, making angels. Look at all these headless angels. It's so sad. 
and I'm like, have to lean in super close. I can barely see your guys' comments and they disappear heck of fast. Overtaking, craft your stash. What are the bags stuffed with? Rice. Start my master's in arts of theological studies in January. That sounds awful, Jason Valerie. <laughs> you can't just hijack her account. But you should be writing your paper. What's your paper on? Let's help you. That sounds that sounds like a lot of work. I don't want a I don't want a master's degree. It's in the Bible. We are one. I know. I know that's biblical too. Let's 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 play in the Bible or not in the Bible. How about that? What means the Catholic Bible there? More like I can't, I can't read it. International business. That sounds interesting okay let's glue some heads on these guys the bodies are filled with rice so basically we used long grain rice and we dumped it into a cup and then you put the sock over the cup like this and then you turn the cup upside down and you shake it and then you put a rubber band on it semi loosely and then you just saw me wrap the fabric and stuff it in and then we're gonna glue a head on and kind of seal that closed. So, you are saying boring to your paper, right? Not my craft, because how rude. Okay, all their heads look very similar. We ended up using a lot of our cream and I wanted to have some diversity in the angels, but we discovered that after I guess the girls had already painted most of their heads. So, the last time I made a bunch of these for friends, um, I made all different ethnicities and I did their hair different and I put curly hair on some and, um, and it was super cute. Yeah, they are so cute. Their bodies are a little big. This is my first year doing them with socks. I normally would do them with like a cone and the kids are back. They're putting their noses on the window. Okay. All right, we got a little time away from them. So, sorry, if I look away for two seconds. Oh, I could open it up on my laptop and read your guys' comments and go back. Keep the comments coming. I will go and read them. See, I didn't want them to put hair on them until their heads were on so I could style their hair. But they're so cute. These are really cute. Kids will love it. Oh, yeah. Landis, did you love your angel growing up? Oh, yes. I loved her. <laughs> what was your angel's name? Did you ever name her? Keisha. Keisha. <laughs> I don't remember if we named our angels. I don't remember if we named our angels. Oh no! Okay, can you press close? On oh my, I'm dying. Well, the lap, the computer, that's, no! <laughs> no, 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 what are you doing? Stop, stop! stop. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what did you click? I, plus, I clicked low power mode, then I unpowered mode did it. Oh, I don't know what you just did. I just wanted you to click close, but thank you. You're welcome. Uh, let me open up my comments so that I can see you guys better. So I can see you guys and not miss your comments. Look, there's me live. Okay, let's go back to these comments. Um, you can tell them it's angels and can be used as heat packs angels for sore muscles. You could do that. Um, I probably wouldn't microwave these though, because they are, um, oh, Jason said, happy belated birthday, Landis. I was working on your birthday. Excuses. Excuses. LOL. I'm streaming on my TV and commenting on my iPad. Welcome. You are two of our viewers. <laughs> Um, okay, let's glue some heads on and style some hair. I guess I got the balls that don't have a flat bottom for this year too. Don't do that if you can't. I like the ones with the flat bottom because then they have a, a more secure base to glue onto their bodies. But see how big these bodies are? Their heads look a little small. So the bigger the wings then the better, but um, I ended up getting a different kind of flower this year. I got that flower from Hobby Lobby. And there, I think I got it in the Christmas section. So we are crafting my stash because I got all this stuff a while ago with the intention of making all this, making all of these for our little friends. But we're gonna go deliver them tomorrow. 
um, more comfy sitting on the couch and watching on bigger screen, but then I can't comment, right? Why are you making the angels? Dustin, thank you for joining. I already explained it. And I already read the first page of our book and everything. So late to the party much? Sheesh. I need to go check out the clearance section at Hoblob. Yeah, you do. Get there, girl. Get it. So here's a fun fact. We don't really paint the back of their heads because you don't need to because you're going to cover it with hair. Anyways, so I have made these live before, actually. I think I did them Disney princess style a couple, couple years ago. But I can't promise you the video is very good because my live videos are pretty hot mess express. But that's what you guys want, so that's what I'm going to give you. Cool beans. Did you guys see um, the planner pages that I just made today? No, you didn't because I posted this one on Instagram and I did my January like that. But look at this one. So cute. I'm so excited. I'm loving. So we just came out with like a ton of Disney clip art for you guys, for our members. Um, and I'm living for it because I'm making all the cute sticker sheets. But I will also be giving you guys um, any sticker sheets I make for myself. Look at this one. She's so little. She's the runt. Oh, you guys can't even see. Look at that little one. She's the runt of the pack. Look at it. It's a whole angel heavenly host. Wow, almost 11 a.m. What time where you are? It's only 9 here, 9.30. Those angels are super cute. I'm going to try. Yeah, do it, girl. Do it. Okay, we got a few more heads to glue on, and then we got to put some hair on, and then we got to put some wings on, and then we craft some of our stash today. So it really only just needs socks, rubber bands, rice, a wood ball, some paint. I like to put glitter on the cheeks. And then a flower is good for a lot of wings. So really don't need too much. Oh, and yarn and a hot glue gun and hot glue sticks. Will you restock on your water slide paper? Eventually. Um, love it because I am a night owl. Welcome. I need Jurassic Park stickers. Yeah, uh, Briley, can we add Jurassic Park to our lineup of clip art we need? What? So can you add Jurassic Park to your list of clip art you need to get? Yes. Okay, cool, thanks. She loves making clip art, so she helps me make the clip art, and then once the clip art's done, I can make so many things with the clip art, and then you guys can make so many things with the clip art, too. What's up, man? Joining from the reality world now? I'm gonna flip the camera around. Wouldn't do that. What? You wouldn't do that. I would do whatever I need to do. Oh, yeah. Whatever I need to do. I need you guys to give me as many things as, you, as I can for P&Gs. And I love doing them, so. Uh, they gave us a huge list that I made last week. You guys, you already started gathering um, Betty Boop and all the ones that people seconded and thirded. I love Lucy. I love Lucy. Oh, look, that's my angel that I made. This one's yours? It's Hola, sir, says Mr. Essex, joining from Perth, Australia. Welcome. The fabric on the angel's body is so cute. Thanks. I believe I just got it at Hubby Lubby, Joann's, one of them. These are like the same, just blue and pink glitter. And then these ones I have left over from um, when I did them the other time and I tried to do all the different, I tried to do like India and Africa and um, what else did I do? I did Native American and I did like cute braids with feathers in their hair. So they don't have to be white girls. You don't have to just make them boring. You can make them all the colors with all the different colored hair and all the things. Um, they did a lot of pink hair. I, I wanted more rainbows and stuff, but it's all good. Um, yes, this is in my Amazon store. If you want this glue gun, it's the AdTech Pro 80. And I only craft with glue guns that take the large glue sticks because ain't nobody got time to be refilling glue sticks 24 seven. All right. Oh, we do have her. She's adorable. Look at her blue hair with her top knot. Landis did her little top knot hair. So my favorite part of making these angels is styling their hair. 
So I always wait till the last, the last bit to do their hair, but they obviously got really excited and did a lot of their hair. So I like to glue their heads on and then make their hair afterwards. And then you can style it and glue it down and all those things. We, uh, Riley, add Harry Potter to your list. Would you make male angels the same way? Great question. So Valerie, who's here, is actually my cousin Jason. Um, I made their son, who you guys saw in 12 DIYs of giveaways, I think on day three or something. Um, I made him a cute little boy one with this red hair. So make it exactly the same way, but I added smaller wings and I did, um, I just trimmed his hair up all like short. And so I did, I did these like strips of hair and how did I do it? I cut little short pieces and I glued like a little piece to hold all the short pieces together. And then I glued that on in like strips and fluffed them up and then like trimmed it like real hair. So everything is illegal in California. <laughs> Are we known to have cancer inducing ingredients, but only in California, right? Uh, uh, um, yes, their hair is made of yarn. We'll talk more about the hair in a second. Let's get the heads glued on. I believe we have all their heads glued on. So fun, 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 till the daddy takes the cadaver away. Okay. So we have a whole heavenly host of angels ready to go. This is what they look like. Her hair is a little short. I did hers a little wonky, but see how her little side part is like that? I love the side part on the hair. And then this is what they look like when they're done. They have their little wings. She doesn't have a face though, but I thought that would be cute for like, if you know anybody who does Waldorf, who doesn't want faces on their dolls, um, this would be another way you could do it. I was just lazy and didn't do a face on that one. Um, Will you make one video on glue gun hacks? That's a great idea, my friend. We should do that. Okay, so if you want, did she cut? Okay, she cut these, pre-cut them. So if you, so when you make these, I wrap them around something and then I tie it and then I cut it. But if you want a center part, you cut them even. If you want a side part, you kind of put it on the head and figure out where it's gonna be even and then I start by just gluing um, just the part down where I want the part and I just go like this and then I kind of open the hair up so that it's going to cover the whole head and then I wait for that to dry and then I really start to shape the hair exactly how I want it and you can do little braids, you can um, just mold it and kind of work it around. Like if you want her to have some more bangs, you can kind of work it around her head. You can um, do like a side pony, can't see. You could like swoop it around and do side pony, but the key here is to just hot glue where you can't see. So if I want it to kind of like frame her face, I would hot glue all around her face and then I'd lay the hair on top of it. Something we can't do in real life because that would hurt, but you can definitely do it to your dolls and then they have glamorous hairstyles. So I'm just gonna lift. They look so cute. I'm gonna lift the hair up and put some glue on her head. And then I'm going to lay that down and make it pretty. It looks like Rapunzel. Does it? So I'll probably finish this guy with you guys. Um, I keep saying, wow, spell check. Um, have you seen all the Disney themed Among Us characters my daughter drew yet? I sent them to Seth. No, I have not seen those. Have you made Angel's hair for from wool? No, I have not. That is fancy. Landis, this one looks like you. It Let's does. See. Hold on, I'm fixing our, I'm fixing her up. Making her pretty. Her hair's a little long. Yeah. It's okay. It's not that long. So I'm just gonna make sure that her whole scalp is covered. And then we'll style and trim. Make sure the hair lies. Now her hair is really long. And I do like her long. You could braid it and then make it like Rapunzel's put some flowers in it. I think I might do that. I might just braid it to the side. Maybe I won't. I don't know. 
She's cute. She cute. So you could do like a style. I like mine. You like that? She's a hippie cute girl. Yeah, she is. So I could twist and then just hot glue it in a twist like that, which I think I'm gonna do. Do you wanna go grab me another big hot glue gun? Hot glue stick? Yeah. Um, if you do end up getting this hot glue gun, just be careful, it's very hot. <laughs> and it's it sits really high up. I warn everybody about this, but when I first got it, I wasn't used to how high up it's at. So I have, I believe, a scar on my thumb from back hitting it. So you get used to it real quick, not doing that because it hurts like crazy. Okay, and then to put the wings on. Hi, you... yeah. Thanks. Oh, these are short. So someone asked for glue gun hacks. This is one of my favorites that I think a lot of people have learned from me. Uh, you put some glue on the end and then you put it back in and it glues itself to the next hot glue stick. You're good to go. Well. I tell everybody that because it's an awesome hack. And then for the wingies, we just cut off um, pieces of these. And I usually use four leaves for each wing because I want them to have four wings or like double layered wings. Kim said I use that hack all the time. Right? So then you take these and put them like this. And I kind of like to lean them back a little bit so that they're like that. And then I'll double layer them up too. So I like these, this flower though, because the um, leaves, petals are very stiff. So wherever I put them, they're just gonna stand straight up. Hot glue, another hot glue hack is if it hits your skin, rub, rub it, it as off. fast as you can. Rub it off. Rub it. Um, so if you're like, I. I didn't know that people didn't know this until I've been crafting with people and they're like, ah, it's hurting so bad. I just go, Ooh. and I'm like, rub it. And then they're like, what? And then it's done by then their finger is burnt off. And I'm like, dude, people don't know that. I'm guessing you guys know that. I hope you guys know that. But if it hits your skin, hit it and rub it as fast as you can. Like, Get it off, rub it off. As soon as you start rubbing it, it starts to dry, the heat goes away. So there'll be a lot of times when people will be like, wow, that looks like it hurt, but it hits my skin and I can feel it and I instantly just rub it off. Look, it looks like Elsa, Rapunzel, and like if Jasmine had bluish hair. You may do acting too. I did want to be an actress, but you know, I got stuck in no talentville. In I'm acting. My freshman year, so oh. I gave up that dream. I that. Valerie, Very who sad. is not here, but is acting like she's here because it's her husband. Uh, <laughs> she and I were probably going to be Oscar award winning actresses. Uh, <laughs> but that's actually where we met in um, drama class. And our really interesting drama teacher didn't like certain types of kids. And apparently I was that type of kid. And he stuck me in the corner with a couple other preppy girls and we were like, you guys can sit over there. You guys are in no talent bill. And I was so mad because I loved drama. Drama was like my favorite and that's what I wanted to be. I wanted to be an actress and I got stuck in no talent bill. And so I was like, there goes my dreams. There goes my dreams. So no, I can't act anymore. I gave that dream up long ago. Someone asked, is this your daughter next to you? Yes. No. I don't look like anything like her, guys. Ready, ready, I'm gonna come up with a new We probably thing. have a lot of new people here because this is such a rare time for me to go live. Mm -hmm. So welcome, yes, this is my daughter. How do they not know you're my sister? Her favorite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't have favorites. You guys equally drive me nuts. Wow. Actually, I don't drive. Hunter is my favorite her. child, even though he drives me even more nuts. Than <laughs> I was about to say he, he drives me them. nuts. You Why all drive me? me nuts. They were cute until about like age four, and then then they got a little sassy. All the things. Um, tell me more about <laughs> your wife's high school drama class. She's your favorite young daughter. There we go. We I wasn't in drama very long because. Um, because I got put in no talent though. And I don't know about 
finished the year in high in drama but I didn't so I basically was really annoyed because I really wanted to be an actress and um, he was legitimately just super mean to kids who were not the typical like drama kids and he thought that we were just like there to waste his time and he put us in the corner and I do remember like being there for a few months but finally he would just kick us out and be like, get out of here, no talentville. And so I would sit in the, um, oh I would sit in the counselor's office and then the counselor finally was like, hey, an opening just came out in glass art, which is a class that like freshmen do not get into. So he got me into glass art. And because I got in as a freshman, I was able to take <laughs> glass art every single year until I was a senior and that was a perk. So all things work out for the good, right? Nobody puts baby in the corner, right? Right? I was and like, then, no talent though? Girl, boy, whatever you are, Mr. You know who your name is. I don't, not even worth saying his name. He had no idea where I was going with my life. No idea. But I do, I am glad I never went down the acting route. It's just, it's not for me. I love you acting. Guys. I love acting, but like, the, the the Hollywood so, life huh. so annoying. What? <laughs> what are you talking about over here? <laughs> Sounds like a god moved in your life in high school. Now look at you. Right, right. Yeah. And then my first ever like official play that I got it was Cinderella, and then I did my auditions. And I like thought I was gonna get like a little speaker with like, like one line, and then. I found out that I got the leading role of Cinderella, and then I told my mom that I got um, one of the talkers that I only had one line, and she was like, what? And then I showed her the list, and, I was, and she first looked at the down row, and I was like, wow. The down row? Yeah, and then you looked back up, and you were like, I don't see. The bottom, the, not yeah. the down row. The, the, the bottom <laughs> row. And she was like, you got Cinderella. You want to cut those off for me? Sure. I'll put you to work, kid, if you're going to be here. I'm here for the cool people. Wish that I could be like, like the, the cool, cool kids. Like the cool kids. They so seem to they wish they were like me. Like you? <laughs> Which yeah. flavor you like in Starbucks? Oh. Cream frappuccino with extra caramel juice. Please. What are we? 11? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, um. The right one. now, I haven't been drinking Starbucks very often. Um, but. Even these ones? Uh, I guess we can do the little baby ones. I think I'm going to need another. Oh, I have another flower back there. Um, I drink a sugar-free uh, vanilla, iced vanilla latte with almond milk. And when I do keto, I get a splash of heavy cream. But I realized how many calories are in heavy cream. And then I stopped that real fast. So I think that was what was slowing me down when I was on keto, was I was drinking those probably every day. And those have like a lot of calories in them. So there's that. Okay. Yeah, I don't know quick. Do you guys oh. have Dutch Bros in Cali? Way yes, better than Starbucks. I do. Teresa, are you drinking Dutch Brothers? That is so bad for you. We do, we have a ton of Dutch Bros, but I really don't like it because, um, not to be judgy, but like we have them all over actually and our high schoolers come in drinking the Rebels and it just is it doesn't sit well with me that- I agree with you, Teresa. That they are, it's so much sugar. So much sugar. Why it's so good? No, sugar is the devil, and the sugar kills everything in your body. Especially their caramelizer. <laughs> Especially the sugar. <laughs> sugar is really bad for you, Bri. We have diabetes that runs in our family. Yeah. And badly. that is. I've only gotten it at like 1 a.m., so. Diabetes? <laughs> no. Oh. You got diabetes at 1 a.m.? Yes, I oh, did. No. I hate when I get diabetes at 1 a.m. <laughs> yeah. We have diabetes that runs in our family rampantly, so we need to be careful. And then my whole other side of my family are literal, I say this not joking, literal sugar addicts. Like, 
I don't know if you've ever seen a real sugar addict, but that's my family. Like, I grew up knowing I could go to my grandpa's house and I could go into one room and there'd be a drawer full of candy bars and then another room and there'd be a extra freezer with tubs of ice cream and another fridge in the garage that had soda pop and they called it pop because he was from Arkansas. Too. Anyways, but literal sugar. I could, I could just get sugar any given moment on one side of my family. On the other side of my family, they were like losing limbs because of uh, diabetes. So yes. that's my life. That's why I really don't like, long story short, places like Dutch Bros that just infiltrate people with a ton of sugar. Um, you guys think I should do pink? Um, I didn't know it ages the skin. Sugar? Is that what we're talking about? I'm intermittent fasting and I don't care. I drink Huel for meals, but now all I'm doing Just is sleeping. Sugar ages the skin too. Girl, boy, whoever, I didn't miss Justice. You're right. Do you, you didn't know sugar ages the skin? Guys, sugar not only gives you acne, sugar causes inflammation in your body, sugar causes brain fog, Sugar is the death. Like if you look at every single eating plan, the one thing that every single eating plan has in common is no sugar. The sooner you can like get that into your head that like sugar is bad, the better off you'll be whether it's just to lose weight, not just to lose weight is what I mean, not just to lose weight, is all the other things that come with not eating sugar. Can I do this one? Uh, Sure, I only have one hot glue gun. Oh, so then I'm just going to go on a sh no eating sugar spiel? Yeah. She doesn't care. I didn't care as a kid. Um, but Honestly, I... am you should worry about more Landis, not me, because, like, I can control when I eat sugar and not... Talk about yourself sugar. only, please. Um, so I, um, I dealt with chronic shoulder pain in high school, and I think a lot of that had to do with, um, first of all, a backpack that I wore, because... We had to carry around tons of books, but, um, sugar, like sugar. When I finally cut sugar out of my diet, not that I didn't eat chocolate cake today, but when I fully, when I fully cut it out of my diet, I see a huge difference. Um, and tea sugar is also all, almost everything has sugar. No, not almost everything has sugar. Not you got to learn to cut things out that have sugar. Like it, it Obviously, natural sugars in fruit and stuff like that and honey are way better forms of sugar than the type of sugar and processed foods that we eat. But, um, yeah. So, how's it going? You're doing the hair? Mm -hmm. Okay. Coo. Coo, coo, coo. Let's see, or did you cut the other flower too? Ah! Did you cut? Be careful. See, it's really hot. Where'd her top knot go? Oh, that's a different one. That's a different one gonna say it's gonna say yep sugar is the devil I'm working on kicking it from my life it's sugar addicting it's so bad for my limbs sugar my addicting. Lyme disease I get it yes um everything thrives in sugar though I know you say Lyme disease thrives in sugar but like cancer thrives in sugar so many things thrive in sugar diabetes it's like number well, one obviously what diabetes is clearly driven by sugar <gasps> we should give her freckles no we don't have time for freckles let's just get it done please okay we don't have time to sit here and play with every single strand of hair so um i like the low ponytail okay you can play with the hair after everything's all done on all of the all of the angels because we need to get them did we got to go deliver these in the morning when morning in the morning when i rise I hope we can have sugar in heaven. Yeah, okay, oh. this is this is me um, as a kid. And plus, I know how to make some really amazing keto um, sugar-free options. So I've gotten really good at making sure I still have my very sweet tooth fixations without having to eat sugar. So, um, like, I can make a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup taste exactly like a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup without any sugar in it. But, um, she has done it before. I do it when I'm doing really good on keto, but, 
when I was a kid and they would tell me like, you can have all your heart's desires when you get to heaven. I was like, I'm gonna have a room full of Reese's peanut butter cups and I'm gonna go grab one and it's gonna replenish itself. That is my heart's desire. And that was my heart's desire as a kid. And my mom would leave me with lunch money and I would walk to the store and buy myself sugar, candy, all the things. Okay, my phone is dying. Let me go. Um, okay, Bri, we're not braiding hair like that. Okay. I said you can do it after we get all of them assembled. I mean, I guess you, have, you can braid right now. But where's her wig? Oh, right here. So my phone is dying, so I do have to go. But um, Reese's, preach it. <laughs> right? Okay, this one came undone, so I need to tie that one back together. I love Reese's. It's, Reese's is, Reese's shouldn't be, Reese's oh. shouldn't count. Reese's calories I was going to say Reese's shouldn't be a thing. I was like, mother. No, why did I say, I would never say that. But at the same time, like, again. I would. The nice thing is chocolate is very easy to recreate the taste of chocolate without using sugar and, or like processed sugar. But... I don't know, why are we on this topic? This is not a health channel. We're making crafts. It's okay. <laughs> like that's all we ever talk about. Um, please share the recipe. I will do. Um, basically, I take peanut butter and um, How cute she is. I use no almond milk, but if you like regular milk, that's no, I mean, milk has sugar in it too, but I use unsweetened almond milk and um, what else do I put in it? And stevia. That's how I do the peanut butter. And then, oh, and almond flour because that makes it more thick. And then my chocolate. No, was that the ch that was the chocolate? The chocolate is almond milk. I do not put almond milk in. It's late. I can, I'll share the recipe when my brain's working. Um. Almond is what I use, and monk fruit is okay, yes. Yep, anything you can replace with an almond product is nice. Try to get unsweetened almond products, and then almond flour instead of regular bleached flour or wheat flour. Um, it's better for you. Oh, her her wings are sideways. Yes, better for you. It's better are you guys you. excited to see the final reveal of the one that I just made? Hers always turn out better because she takes her time I'm like, get it done. Ah. Is it focusing? Which angel, do, yeah. Which angel do you look like, they said. There's not really one that looks like you. Yeah, none of them have short, <gasps> none of them have short hair. That's okay. That's so, oh. Angels wow. have long, beautiful hair. So, short hair isn't beautiful? Yes. Duh, I have short hair now. Not really, you have like medium length. It's growing finely. So I cut it off so that it will grow. Mind. Okay, we gotta go because my phone's gonna die and I don't want it just to die in the middle of us making angels. So I'll see you guys for another Craft Your Stash sometime. Might be on Facebook, might be on Instagram, might be on YouTube. Never know where you're gonna find me next. Um, okay, bye Teresa, see you later. I gotta go get these done. What did you just lick? Nothing. The rice? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Go to bed. Okay. Bye, guys. Say goodbye. Bye. I'm taking over, actually. Bye, bye. Bye.